What's going on guys, Tenor69046 here, and today I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to install the localized weather mod for Minecraft 1.12.2. Um, I've gotten a comment that's basically asking how do you install the mod, and it's a whole lot easier to explain in video format than it is in a comment on all the steps to this, because you can get caught at a few areas, and uh, if you mess up, you could get a virus if you click the wrong thing. So I just want to make sure you don't click the wrong thing so you can get this mod installed properly. So down in the description below, there's going to be three links, one to minecraftforge.net, one to weather2, and one for Coral Util. All right, you're going to need to open these three links. On the forge, and you're going to click, and you're going to go to 1.12.2 right here on the forge download page, and you just click Windows Installer. Okay, it's going to redirect you to this page. Ignore any of this, your software, or whatever, whatever is in this white area below this black bar, ignore this. Go to this black bar and on the right hand side click skip. Okay, and then it will download the file for you. And that's all you gotta do on this page. You can click out of it once you've downloaded that. Next you're gonna go to the coros.us uh, page here for mods and weather too. This is your actual localized weather mod. As you can see it gives you a bunch of information on it right here. Scroll down to the downloads area and we're just going to download the most recent one. Again, you'll be redirected to a download page. Right here, it will tell you when your download will start. Ignore everything that's not this. Click it and it'll be redirecting you to an add focus. Ignore anything that's down here and only right here. It'll tell you to wait. Click skip and your download will begin. You want to keep this. It's not actually dangerous. Your computer just recognizes any jar file as dangerous. It's just a mod. You can keep it, and that'll be downloaded. And you can close out. Again, one last time, you're going to go to the Coral Util link. It'll bring you here. Download the most recent one. You'll be redirected. Ignore the ads. Download starts in. Click this right here. Nothing else. And download Coral Util. Redirected. Ignore anything in here, and just wait until you can skip it and then automatically download it. Keep it, it's fine, and once it's downloaded you can close out of Chrome there. Okay, you go to your downloads folder and uh, here we are, Coral Util, Weather, and Forge. I'll just move this to the desktop so we can see clearly. You want to open this Forge and install client. It's going to successfully install, then you will open up Minecraft and you will launch that forge in the installer. You might have to click, oh, not that. You might have to click on these three bars here, launch options, and go here and select that forge so that you will launch it, right? And you click play. It'll do some installing, blah, 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 non important stuff, some background stuff. You don't have to worry about it. We'll say if you download it, any three things other than what you should have right here, you should delete those, make sure they don't install anything on your computer. You should only have three, these three files right here. If you have anything else other than these three files, you have issues, and uh, yeah, you should uh, not be doing that. So just open it, go to the title screen, let it get to the title screen, then quit game, and we're done with that. After that, you want to open File Explorer in the top bar right here. Erase quick access and type percent app data percent. From there, you will get to a bunch of files or perhaps very few files, but there will be a file called .minecraft. Double click it and open it. And in here, there will be a folder called mods. This folder will be empty for you, but I already have mods in here, the minimap and optifine. You want to drag and drop both Coral Util and Weather2 into the mods folder, okay? And after you do that, simply just close out of it. You can delete this forge installer off of your downloads folder or desktop screen wherever you chose to put it. And launch Minecraft again and once this launches the localized weather mod should be installed. We'll, uh, we'll let it launch here just so we can see. Mm-hmm. May take just a moment. <laughs> Let me, oh, I closed out of it. <laughs> Launch it one more time. I'm going to try and get out of full screen mode so I can show you that it is installed. Because I'm currently capturing my display here and not the actual Minecraft game.
Yeah, one more time. <laughs> oh, yeah, it did it automatically. If you go to mods right here, you will see localized weather and storms. And if we open up a new world, the uh, <laughs> localized weather mod should be installed. Let's just build our terrain here real quick. <laughs> And if we open up, fly up here, maybe get on top of this tree, and radar, radar, yep, would you look at that, it's installed, weather 2, storm create, F2. And there you go. That's how you install the localized weather mod for 1.12.2. If you have any questions or issues, put them in the comments below. And ooh, a parrot. And you look at it that right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, put your issues, concerns in the comments below, and I'll try and help you the best that I can. But for now, that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, watch my other tornado videos. <laughs> See ya.